It is Wednesday, August 22, 2018, and last night was Tuesday, August 21st, 2018, and I found these four beautiful bikes and one more that's in the car, so let's get started checking them out. First bike on the rack is the Jamis Laser 20. Look at this thing. It's got a cool chain guard, an aluminum frame, Jamis laser decals, a total ripoff redline forklifter stem, one brake in the back, also a coaster brake. So you get a V-brake and a coaster brake. Neat little laser saddle, 20 inch wheels with knobby dirt street tires, alloy rims, a heavy duty BMX style fork, and that's about it. Beautiful little 20 inch bike for a kid, the Jim's Laser. Next bike on the list is this Diamondback Grind 20 BMX bike. And this is really cool. It's just a, you know, a typical frame derivative of the standard Trail Boss. Pretty much every BMX frame looks the same. It's got U-brakes in the back. Oddly enough, it has a one-piece crank with a big sprocket. So I don't know how old this bike is or if they're just kind of using outdated technology, but it works just fine. Two pegs in the back, two pegs in the front, a blue rim in the front, black rim in the back. That's kind of a modern thing. Street ramp tires, little traditional seat and seat post. It's not a pivotal or anything. And these incredibly comfortable grips up front. Just one brake and a threadless headset, clamp on stem. There's your Diamondback logo up front. And the former owner told me that his kids Never did even as much as one trick on this, which is why it's pretty much in slightly dirty but mint condition. This bike right here is called the Giant Bella. See, it's purple, it's got a giant logo on the fork, it's got flowers and stuff on the fenders, and right here, Bella. That means beautiful, I think. I'm not really sure why they put these sort of fluorescent petals, it kind of clashes with the purple theme, but they have this beautiful seat with all kinds of flowers and a basket up front. Basket's kind of messed up, but you can like put your junk in the basket. The fluorescent yellow continues here. Then there's a little bell. And this bike has one handlebar brake and it goes back and there's a coaster brake. There's the handlebar brake. More flowers on the rear fender, which is metal. That's not bad. Wheels are 20 inch, tires are Kenda. And the people inside Home Depot came out and asked me what I'm doing. So that's not a good thing. And I'm gonna have to change locations. I'll see you in a minute. So I put the bikes back on the rack and now I have to take them back off again. We're over here at Walmart and let's see if I get kicked out of here. Even though technically I didn't get kicked out of there. So we finally got to the last bike on the rack, the Raleigh LTD3. Let's get this thing off and see what it's all about. Next on the list, we have the Raleigh LTD3. And I think this is, you know, a step or two below the Raleigh Sports. It has kind of a cheaper crank set, a cheaper sprocket. I don't know what year this is because the hub's all grimy, so I don't want to wipe off the grime and check the year, but it has a cheaper vinyl Brooks saddle instead of a leather Brooks. This stem, somebody put this crappy bolt in there. I think it's got a cheaper front brake. The rims aren't quite as good, but if you want a Raleigh three-speed bike on a budget, the LTD3 is just fine. And this thing may be not quite as bulletproof or as classic as a Raleigh Sports, but it's a cool little bike. And it's in really nice shape, a little bit dirty, but other than that, very little wear and it should clean up and be rideable pretty quickly and easily. The last bike's inside my car, and uh, don't get too excited about the Nintendo, it's just an empty box. Let's get this thing out of there. So last but certainly not least, because I think I like this bike the best, is the Trek Aluminum. See, it's a Trek and it's aluminum. You can bang on it, tink, tink, tink. 1500 road bike. This thing has fancy handlebars and Shimano 105 brakes and the requisite 
cat eye computer with a dead battery and an I heart my bike bell. Look at that. Ding ding, sort of. It has Shimano 105 down tube shifters and I'm also a big fan of this reflective tape on the fork with this computer wire wrapped all around it. The blue and yellow and pink color scheme continues to the Cannondale water bottle cage and some more reflective tape on the seat stays. The Trek T system seat is way up high. I don't know why people do that. And the Tioga Prestige stem is super, super long. So whoever rode this bike must have been a big individual. Now for tires, or tire, because there's no front wheel, you get Hutchinson Quartz tires and Sun Mistral hard anodized rims. And then you get your Shimano 105 crank, and I think this is a 600 front derailleur, and a Shimano 105 rear derailleur, and a Shimano 600 Altegra chainstay protector. The most interesting part of this bike, at least to me, is the chewing gum or putty or JB Weld that looks like it's holding the seat post in place. I haven't put an Allen wrench in there, so I don't know for sure. The pedals are these little white and purple Shimano 105 jobs. I think they're 105s, maybe 600. And a final colorful touch is this Shimano racing decal on the left chainstay. So let's zoom out. There's your Trek 1500 aluminum road bike. Blue, yellow, pink. It's all beautiful. And this one needs a little bit of tinkering before it'll be roadworthy, but it should be just fine. Now, if this video came off a little bit rushed, well, it's late in the day, I had to change uh, locations, my back is killing me, and sometimes I just have to rush my way through these things. But those are the five bikes I found last night. That's Tuesday night, and it's just living proof that if you're me, or if you work hard, you can find a bunch of junky old bikes, and uh, you can do it on a regular basis. So from Newburgh, New York, congratulations, and good luck out there.